Hello everybody. How are you today? Uh, me personally, you know, like yesterday, just came back uh, from work and, um, you know, even though I am a little bit tired, I will uh, make this video and uh, give you latest uh, update on uh, major news in uh, Russia right now, which is uh, surprisingly, shockingly successful uh, counteroffensive of uh, Zelensky's Nazi regime in Kharkov region. Uh, but before we start, let me uh, ask you once again to subscribe on my channel, uh, to leave some commentary uh, and uh, push that like button so that uh, uh, my channel will have more chances to reach bigger or wider audience. Mm. For the last two days I did not have, I mean, I did have few new subscribers, but few subscribers left, so channel is not growing and that's quite depressing really. Uh, so. Please, if you can, uh, I mean, if you think that this channel may have some uh, potential, uh, give me help and uh, subscribe on my channel. Now let's begin, man. And uh, news are truly devastating for uh, Russian society. News that uh, are coming from uh, Ukraine. Because uh, it's it looks like uh, Zelensky's Nazi regime did uh, retake not just uh, Balaklia, uh, but uh, they are, they did manage to retake Kupiansk, city of Kupiansk, and city of Izium. Uh, I did saw pictures uh, with the uh, Nazi forces of Zelensky in Kupiansk. I did not see any video or photo uh, confirmation that they have they are already in Izium, but many telegram channels are saying that uh, Zelensky's regime uh, did manage to take that city too. Kupiansk is a uh, north uh, east side of Kharkov region. Uh, Izium is a um, south uh, east side and uh, same time uh, I did read information that uh, right now uh, when I speak uh, Zelensky's regime is trying to retake uh, Krasny Liman that's uh, Lugansk People's Republic territory that's not even Harko region so it seems like uh, entire front line is collapsing and uh, Russian forces are retreating uh, in Kharkov region. And um, this evening, this afternoon, Russian Defense Ministry did made an official statement about uh, all this stuff. You know, I will read it for you and you can have uh, your opinion about it. I mean, me personally uh, think that it will it would be better if they did not say nothing. You know? But because this statement is, I mean, uh, this statement is quite strange, if I may say that way. So let's, uh, you know. Let's uh, read that statement, man. Yes, one more thing. I hope sound is uh, like better than yesterday. And the second stuff is, second thing is that uh, I do know that uh, I, I talk quite slowly, so you can accelerate it on 1.25 in on on a YouTube, and it it does sounds like normal I mean it's normal so if you think that I mean it's too boring to listen to someone 
that talks this slow you know you can increase speed you know in youtube and that's it okay let's let's go and uh, read uh, this official statement from russian defense ministry and then uh, i will I will give you some uh, more information, maybe my opinion about what is going on. But you know, I have to be careful, very careful, because uh, officials in Russia can take any of my sentence as a attempt to discredit Russian government or Russian army, and they can jail me for that. I mean. You know, crazy times, man. So let me, I will copy the entire statement and read it for you, and uh, you can decide for yourself uh, what you think about it, you know. Uh, so Russian Defense Ministry, I mean, officially saying that Russian troops from uh, Balaklia and uh, Izum uh, regrouped in the Donetsk direction to achieve the stated goals of a special military operation to liberate Donbass, the, the Defense Ministry said. So officially they are saying that they are just regrouping forces from Balaklia and this Jum direction so that uh, you know they will pursue main goal to liberate Donbass. No word about uh, you know uh, uh, oh, for God's sake man let's let's continue. For this purpose, an operation was carried out within uh, three days to to organize the transfer of the Izium Balakli group of troops to the territory of Donetsk People's uh, Republic. Department said they added that in order to implement these plans. Distracting and uh, demonstrate demonstration activities, demonstrative activities were carried out with the this designation of the real actions of the troops. Whatever that means. In three days, more than 2,000 Ukrainian and foreign fighters, as well as over 100 armored vehicles and artillery units, were destroyed. The ministry said. So Russia has been conducting military operation in Ukraine since February 24. That's we know. So I mean, um, do I believe uh, uh, even single word uh, that uh, Russian Defense Ministry is saying? I mean, uh, I will say this way. You know, I don't want to end up in jail, man. So that's my commentary on on that stuff. You know, so it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So you know, uh, Russian uh, media outlets are, we can say, quiet. You know, all they're saying is uh, repeating some official statements, uh, but Russian telegram ch telegram channels. Are going crazy, man. Russian telegram channels are uh, going crazy because people are just, you know, shocked. People are angry. There are many questions: how it happened, why, uh, what will be next, you know. And uh, there is no answers really. And uh, I mean, let me show you. That's a Kharkov region uh, uh, here, and uh, Zelensky's forces initially start counteroffensive from this direction, 
from Chugoya. Chugoya is like the main base. Uh, and uh, they attacked here, somewhere here is um, Balaklia. So they did talk Balaklia first, then they start attacking in two different directions. To uh, north east side, Kupiansk towards Kupiansk, and uh, to south east side towards Izum. And they did manage somehow, I mean, yet again, I'm. I'm it's unbelievable, man. You know, it's hard to believe that in in two three days time, uh, Zelensky's Nazi regime did manage to do this kind of operation, man. You know, then to take cities that, uh, I mean, I'm speechless, man. But you know, what, what you can do, man. And here, this dot, I mean, here. Uh, is Krasn Krasn Liman? That's uh, that's Donetsk's People's Republic, and this town is under fire, under attack right now. I was thinking this is Lugansk, but no, this is Donetsk uh, in Donetsk's People's Republic. And uh, in my understanding, uh, attack is going from uh, not just uh, Kharkov region, but from uh, Slavyansk. Too. Uh, so I mean, uh, this afternoon uh, I will watch. Uh, if I didn't go to sleep, now, I will watch military summary uh, channel. Uh, on that channel, always you know, Dima, host of that channel, always has some more detailed information, and uh, you know I will uh, learn more. But from information that I have, I mean, it looks like uh, uh, and Volchansk, this town here, is under fire too. So it's almost like border line, you know. Uh, so it's quite possible that Zelensky's Nazi regime will uh, retake entire territories of Kharkov region if in, if it continues in 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 current trajectory, you know, if developments continue with, with, with current trajectory. So, you know, as I said, man, uh, people in Russia, people that who, who are interested in, in, in developments in, in Ukraine and who are somehow emotionally or some other ways involved uh, in, in this uh, uh, subject um, people are shocked because uh, I mean uh, uh, did anyone uh, I mean probably even Zelensky's Nazi regime I mean probably even they did not believe that they could be this much successful man in this counteroffensive so what what can I say man uh, what will happen now you know or in the near future man? And why this all, all this stuff is happening? You know, I, I will give you probably next few days will be much talk about stuff. You know what happened, why it's happened. You know, I I have four four uh, uh, you know I will give you four four points, man. And uh, you know you can decide. You know, can it be? Correct or no? So, the first point is that uh, all this, uh, all this devastating, uh, all this devastating uh, developments, devastating for uh, Russian society. Developments are happening because of some treason in high command of Russian Defense Ministry. That's what people are talking about, you know, on, on telegrams. I will I will say this way, you know. That's that's uh, one of the opinions that are uh, talked about. One is treason. Second reason is uh, incompetence of 
high uh, command in, of military. Uh, and true maybe both. It can be treason and incompetence. I mean, third point is that um, after these uh, developments, Moscow may, you know, start propaganda that, you know what, and I, I did already read some uh, comments and I did not, I did watch even on uh, pr extremely pro Kremlin telegram channels. I did watch the, some uh, statements of some, uh, not officials, but uh, people that are close to uh, Kremlin, let me say that way. And they are already start talk about uh, necess that, that it's necessary to start a real war, not some kind of police operation or uh, special, some kind of a military, op no, uh, straight up war, man. Because they are saying that, you know, it's hard to win when uh, you're fighting only with one hand and second is tied. And this point does do have some, uh, you know, reasoning, uh, one may say. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think that uh, all this, all, all this retreat was, uh, um, sanction just to eventually uh, Moscow uh, open Moscow hands Moscow's hands to do some mobilization and stuff like that you know to uh, start a real war you know but uh, who knows man who knows uh, Quite possibly, you know, I was saying, uh, like in previous videos, that in, in my understanding, in in this fall, uh, like in October, I was expecting some mobilization in October, November, so that uh, in winter time they will be they, you know, Moscow will try to attempt some um, big scale. Uh, offensive operations, but uh, you know, yet again, who am I, man, to know anything, you know? Uh, but now, I mean, some people that are close to uh, Kremlin are saying that you know, it must be uh, declared war and it must be uh, mobilization so that uh, there will be enough people on the arms to take uh, take on uh, they are openly saying to take on NATO man because uh, there's too many videos on the on the on the internet that I mean like foreigners are fighting in in uh, Ukraine so in my understanding it's quite possible that these foreigners are uh, NATO troops that are on paid paid lead paid leave, you know, and uh, of course there will be there some um, uh, private uh, military companies and stuff like that. But I mean, um, yet again, who knows, man? We may see uh, as a result of uh, this. Uh, disaster in Kharkov region that Russia will declare war and uh, start mobilizing people and uh, and start real war, not just some special military operation. Who knows? You know. Let's wait and see. And fourth point is that uh, there are some, you know. I'm, I, I don't want to say that it's my opinion. I mean, I'm just sharing opinions that are, I see you know, on the internet because, you know, I, I truly don't want to end up in jail, man. Uh, and the fourth point is that uh, 
maybe Moscow and Kiev had some uh, secret negotiations and uh, Moscow agreed to leave Kharkov region. Who knows, man? Because this quick retreat from uh, from a uh, huge territory, I mean, I mean, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know, man, it's shocking. It's just shocking, man. Uh, how? So that's uh, four points, man, to try and understand what, what, what is going on, really. First is uh, treason. Second is incompetence. And both these points, I mean, they, they can be together. I mean, both may be true. Third point is that uh, this uh, retreat was uh, sanctioned to uh, use this topic as a precursor to uh, mobilize, to start mobilization and uh, to uh, declare war and uh, transfer this special military operation in the full-scale war officially and fourth points i mean uh, who knows man it can be, it, i will not be surprised if, if moscow and uh, kiev or moscow and washington and london had some negotiations and uh, Moscow did decide to leave uh, Kharkov region. Who knows, man? That's what I think, you know. Anyway, man, situation they are, I mean, truly, truly devastating. Uh, uh, civilians are trying to flee. Some reports are saying that there are some queues in on, on the border with Russia and some thousands of cars with uh, with civilians. Uh, some civilians did not manage to get out and now they are under danger of being killed by Zelensky's Nazi regime. Uh, just for you know just because they are russian speakers or they are pro-russians and now in ukraine they can say about anyone that they are pro-russians and that's enough reason for them to kill human you know so i mean um, russian uh, telegram uh, russian language telegram channels are horrified man at least for this moment, man. I, no one knows what will happen tomorrow or day after, but for this moment, it's, I mean, uh, society that, I mean, are uh, watching these developments are shocked. You know, it's incredible, man. I mean, unbelievable what is happening. But yet again, man, I mean, what you can do, you know. Uh, this is it for now. I mean, it's, it, as I said, I mean, uh, if uh, everything goes like today, uh, if trajectory will continue of developments in Kharkov region, it's quite possible that in uh, tomorrow, I mean, for tomorrow or maybe day after, entire Kharkov region will be retaken by uh, Zelensky's Nazi regime. And they may even go further than that. I, I, I mean, they are, uh, their offensive or counteroffensive is so quick and, uh, I mean, Russian forces are leaving territories in such a manner that uh, I will not be surprised yet again, I mean, if uh, Zelensky's forces will even attack Russian territory, you know, Belgorod, for example. 
you know. That's a city, Russian city, in cro close proximity from a uh, border with the Ukraine. So nothing will surprise me, really. You know, this offensive may continue towards uh, not just Krasny Liman in Donetsk people in public. Mind. They may retake entire Donbass because it seems like for now no one is trying to stop them. Uh, or no, that's that's a wrong uh, sentence. Uh, they are some uh, units that are given a hell of a fight, but all units have commands, man. All units are subordinates of uh, high level of uh, officials, and uh, if they have an order to leave some positions, they had to leave. They don't really have a choice. Uh, other than that, I mean, uh, I did read uh, reports about some some hello fight that uh, some uh, Russian units, some units of Russian forces did uh, give to enemy. Some units of uh, Donbas militia did fight like incredibly well. You know, everyone knows about Wagner Group. They are. They are professional soldiers and they know how to fight. Uh, no one has questions about it, but yet again, I mean, uh, all this entire operation has its commanding hierarchy. And if these units receive order to retreat, they have to retreat. No matter how they're going to call it, I mean, in, uh, uh, in you know, high level of uh, army command personnel, I mean, strategic movement or whatever, retreat it is retreat, you know. So this is it for now. This is it for now, I guess. Uh, uh, so, yeah, let's, you know. No, all we can do is like read some news, man, and uh, have some hope for uh, better, you know, for good. This is it, man. This is it for now. Uh, I did try to give you some uh, updates. Uh, it's a devastate, devastating time for. Uh, For uh, for me personally, you know, I'm not gonna talk about Russian society, man, because you know, but me personally, I'm I'm devastated because to see how these Nazi animals, you know, these Nazi animals, man, that these forces are, the, you know. In Ukraine, I mean, the Zelensky Nazi regime, and to see that these animals are retaking some territories, and I mean, that's for me, it's devastating, man. Because I do believe that those animals must be at least jailed, man, you know, because they are Nazis, man, you know, there should be no mercy for Nazis, man, never. Okay, you know. No one cares about my emotions, and but it is what it is, man. Um, yet again, if you find my channel interesting, or, or if you think that this channel may have some potential, please subscribe, leave some commentary, and uh, yeah, this is it, man. Have a nice day, have a nice day, and take care.